today we are going to be talking about how you can get started on YouTube and this is mainly for complete beginners so if you're a complete beginner I do recommend that you stick around and watch the entirety of the video. It's about halfway through 2023 already and some people that you may know or you yourself included might want to be starting a YouTube channel and you wanted to do that at the start of the year and before you realize that it's already halfway through the year and you've not even started actually doing a YouTube channel. I'm going to be doing my very best to break down in today's video about what you should do if you don't know where you're going as well as picking a niche as well as your action items to get to the eventual goal that you want to get at whether that would be get 1000 subscribers make a bunch of money on youtube whatever it may be i've created a google document to actually represent what i'm trying to say and how i would try and explain it to someone that actually needs to go about doing this and if you've just woken up and you've not drank any water then i definitely recommend to do so because when you wake up your body is actually dehydrated because of the uh, sleep that you've had, as far as I'm aware. So, as you can tell by the title, how to get started on YouTube in the top left hand corner. And you want to get started on YouTube. So the first step you do is you just create a channel. I don't care what the name is, as long as it's not anything provocative whether it's your name or whatever it may be just create a channel it will take you maybe five to ten minutes i'm actually going to put that in there i didn't do it before ten minutes max it doesn't take long you could literally open up a window in chrome or edge whatever you use and create a channel while you follow along with this video so number two would be choosing what you like also known as picking a niche things i like talking about the reason i said this is because generally if you're going to make content it will be about stuff that you want to talk about so whether it be your cat your dog your gaming setup your pcs your cars how to modify cars how to do video editing how to I don't know, get better at FPS games, whatever it may be. Make a list of things you like talking about. Now the highlighted section, which is for me personally, is talking about YouTube and the eventual goal is to help people make content or become a content creator. The eventual goal for me personally is to make money. That's all I care about. But I want to do it by selling a coaching service which can generally help people. So this is a one-on-one -on -one service. If you're interested, I will leave a Google document below and you can read the service. Pretty much we hold you to a 30-day one-on-one coaching session and you get four 60-minute calls with me each and every week for four weeks. That's going to be one and there's going to be 24 7 chat more than likely on whatsapp and you can ask your questions whether saying something is a good or not a good idea your thoughts and ideas or even if you are procrastinating and be like yo brandon i am i am procrastinating i don't like it and i i just need a little little nudge and l literally being available to tell someone that you are procrastinating without facing judgment or you can say something like i am literally being lazy it can sort of get you back on the right track but that's that and we'll be going through a detailed plan of what you want to do why you want to do it, what your eventual goal is and doing stuff like putting it in your google calendar if you don't have a google calendar i'll help you set one up if you do have a google calendar or help you set up a time to actually record videos and depending on your schedule depends how much time you can dedicate towards something like youtube for someone like me who works 50 hours a week i don't have much time and i have a girlfriend i cook i clean stuff and i go and socialize and be a normal human being that doesn't act like a hermit who's in their room all the time 
making YouTube videos. But that's what I want to do. I want to have a social life and I want to do this on the side. I am not one of the types of people that just want to only work and not have a social life. However, if you want to do that, that is totally fine. Back to what I was saying. My goal is to make money with a one-on-one -on -one session. The one-on-one -on -one sessions for an entire month is $1,500 in case you are wondering. I'm going to be very transparent about that. But if you want to talk about that with me, that's fine. Just comment below something like coaching. And I can make money through YouTube ad revenue and other things such as affiliate marketing, which it's not really high ticket in my opinion, but if you are selling something like I teach someone how to start a drop shipping store, whatever it may be, and I recommend something like Shopify and they subscribe to it, I can make it extra like 10 bucks a month. But that's not the goal. But that's an example. If I were to teach someone like, oh, you want to build an online store? Cool, this is how you do it. And I could make money through that. Now, my other goals, which aren't really money, money related would be things such as I want to get to 1000 subscribers by the end of 2023 which is realistic I wouldn't say make a stupid goal like get the 1 million subscribers by the end of a month or end of this year or whatever it may be because chances are that's probably not going to happen you can definitely go for it I'm not saying don't go for it some cases you need to be realistic by the end of this month, so 12 more days in this month, I want to get my first paying client at $1,500 with my one-on-one -on -one coaching offer, which I just told you about. Now it's good to have these goals, but you need to have action items to go towards any goal. And I also lost track of where I was. So picking a niche, this is my niche. I just wanted to clarify what I want to do, but the same principle pretty much applies to anything. It could be tech, it could be personal training, um, and you got other things like modifying cars or whatever you like. Now, it doesn't need to be money related. You can just be like, okay, I want to get faster subscribers. And let's say I want to make like $500 from ad revenue, if that's your goal. If that's your goal, that's totally cool. That's just not my personal goal. Everyone's gonna have different goals, it's normal. So the action items and these sort of apply to myself as well as with doing tech, cars, how to build an online business, personal training, talking about finances, whatever it may be. You need action items to get towards your goals. So for me, if it was YouTube, which it actually is, then it's create content on YouTube every single day, post every single day, pitch an offer, which is my one-on-one -on -one cooking service, and put a link in the description and describe offer with a CTA, which if you don't know, stands for call to action. So I've told you what is offered. It's up to you if you do take it, but I think it would benefit you if you did. So another thing I can do to get me towards my goal is post YouTube shorts, information about YouTube, whether it might be client results or whatever it may be. So I can also subcategorize this into post YouTube shorts. Since it's more than likely saved on my phone or my computer, I can also post it on Instagram and TikTok and Facebook Reels. I don't know what they call it specifically. And I can also post it on Pinterest if I want to post it on Pinterest. They're just a few ideas. I'm sure there's other sites, etc. With Instagram, I can also do this for TikTok really. Put a link in bio, create valuable posts for Instagram as well as Facebook and TikTok. So doing these action items will more than likely drag me to this goal of which is make money, make money, do affiliate marketing if I want to, and get to 1,000 subscribers by posting regular content, such as long form content, short form content, which will lead to a coaching service, which I provide, which is more than likely to land me a one-on-one -on -one client at $1,500 a month because that is my price point. Or I can do something like payment plans which eventually go to $1,500 a month. And if I post every day long form and short form content, 1,000 subscribers by the end of this year is definitely inevitable. Now this might goal might seem below me or below you and if anything that's that's actually okay because 
it's obtainable. You don't want to set a goal and be like, oh, I want to get to 100,000 subscribers by the end of this year, which is a great goal to have, but chances are you may not hit it. Go for it, but you may not hit it. So therefore, if you set a tiny goal, so it says hit 1,000 subscribers, if you get that, you'll definitely be happy. But if you set a goal of hit 100,000 subscribers, and you don't hit that goal, you're more than likely going to feel like poo-poo. And I don't want that. But if you hit a small goal, a baby goal of getting 1,000 subscribers and you hit it, you're generally going to feel good. So I hope this helps you and it gives you more clarity on what you can actually do with YouTube and how to actually get started. So your action items, if I were to set you homework, would be create a YouTube channel, look at what you like and pick a niche. I don't care what it is, you can list 40,000 things and pick maybe five that you really want to do. Actually, don't know. Be realistic. Set maybe 10 things that you like and pick maybe three or two or even better, just one. Create action items to get to your goals of which you might have. Let's say you have a car channel. Let's say right now you have a really crappy car like I do and you want to get a Porsche and you want to flip cars or whatever. Your first goal of doing a YouTube channel would be create a video listing of what you want to talk about. You could, your first video could literally be, I have a really crappy Honda Jazz and it doesn't run well, the brakes are messed up and my eventual goal is to get to a Porsche 911 and you document that you somehow figure out a way to get to a Porsche 911, whether it be flipping cars, working a job and you just document, 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 document. And people are like that, they enjoy it because people are nosy. That's just the realistic, realistic realities of people. People are nosy. People may or may not want you to get to your goal, but they'll probably just end up watching you, even if they think it's a stupid goal. If you want a Porsche 911, it's a very nice car, go for that car. So I hope this helped you. I hope this makes sense. And uh, if you've got any questions or anything like that, leave them in the comment section or you can hit up my social medias but yeah if you are interested in a coaching program yes it is fifteen hundred dollars i will not lie but we can work together for 30 days and get you to where you want to be and yes hope you enjoyed this video hope you gained value and uh see you next time maybe tomorrow we'll see